Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy KZ Flicks. I'm in the building. Um, uh, I, I get a lot of people in the comments and stuff like that. You know, asking me, yo, Cass, how you, um, you know, how you edit, how you color grading and stuff like that. I use DaVinci Resolve and I use Final Cut. So what I do is I I color grade in DaVinci and I bounce out as an XML so I can edit in um Final Cut. And also the other question was, how do you get? How are you making your images look like as an anamorphic lens? And when it's not an anamorphic lens, so I'm going to show you that right now. So let's get into it. I know you want to see my handsome face, but we're going to switch it up. Boom. Now, we're in here. And now, as you can see, you know, it's nice and wide, right? But we're going to go backwards, though. So I already got my clip in the timeline. First thing I do, I go into the click of the media. I right-click the footage. I go to clip attributes. And I take it from auto to full because I wanted the, you know, the flattest, right? And then I go into the edit page right here, and I go over this tab right here, which is where you can pick it, you know, the um, aspect ratios and stuff like that you want to use. I go to custom timeline. If you look right here, I put my 3840-1772. That's the source. That's the source right there. So when people turn their phone sideways, it takes it takes up the whole iPhone screen real estate little trick right there and then what I do once I take it out of DaVinci and I bounce it into Final Cut I have a, um, uh, an effect that's an anamorphic effect that actually stretches the image even more you know what I mean and then if you want to put uh, uh, um, um, you know because anamorphic causes light to be like beams you know what I'm saying so if you want to do that you can just you know create some keyframes with some um, some um, light flares you know but I'm not going into that today alright so we're, gonna, we're just going to go into the color grading. So boom, once you do all that, right, we go into the color page and make sure you zoom it. Cause when you do it at first, it's regular. You change it, you gotta zoom it so to stretch it, okay? Hope that wasn't hard. And then you got something like this. And if I press P on the keyboard, it's nice and wide, right? So right now we have nothing on here. I'm gonna pull up my nodes. Okay, I'm gonna pull up my gallery. I already have stuff already um saved on, on here. Um, my kids just walking in the house. Let me see. Hold on. Let me make sure they're good. They're just coming home from school. Yes, my son. So, right now we have this, right? So, I already have my note structure already set up right here. So, I just go here, slap my note structure here, and it's basically a 5-5. Five, five. But I'm going to add, like, probably, like, two more to it, okay? So, first thing, then we're going to go down here to your raw settings. Your raw down here, the little camera icon. Hit that. Put it to full res premium. Put it to clip. Make sure you in IPP2. Red white gamut. Log 3G10. Okay? Boom. We there, right? There we go. All right. So now we can go into um, actually uh, setting up our, uh, uh, um, our color space transform. So we're going to go to red white gamut. And then we're going to go to red log 3G10, right? If I can find it. <laughs> Boom. Then we're right there. Then we go to DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Wide Intermediate. Boom. Then we're going to go to our CST out. And then we're going to do the reverse. DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Wide Intermediate. Oh, let's find DaVinci Wide Intermediate. We're going to go Rec 709. Okay, Rec 709, and then we're going to go to um, Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Uh, I'm going to do 2.2 because I like the, the color. Okay, um, and if you want to um, set your um, maximum output of light, then you, you could just and it's bring it all, you could just boom, pop it here, and you'll get more. You know what I mean? More than that thing. Or you just want to keep it like that, you can, but... You can do whatever you want. Me, I'm just going to keep it down for this one right here. Boom. So we got those two node structures. And my primaries, this is where I'm doing my, um, my, uh, my, my uh, let me go to my wheels right here. This is where I'm doing my primary wheels. And in the same node, I'm doing my HDR. Okay. The reason why I got these two inside here in the same node is because when you do contrast on a separate node by itself, it affects the image way, way different than you know, um, it, it affects it way, way different. Meaning like it doesn't work the same way 
as you have it in the same node. You know what I'm saying? You could get you could really get those blacks really black, so get it faded the really the way the way you really want to. You know what I'm saying? So um we're gonna go back here. So I do that there. And then I have my secondaries, which is like my um uh uh my um power power windows, okay? My power window right here. All right, so but I'm gonna turn that off for right now. So we're just gonna start off with this right here. Also, I add another node. Uh, let me just add one more node. Uh, option S. And we're gonna name this node right here. White balance. Okay. And then we're gonna move these nodes over here. We're gonna add two more nodes before. One right here, and then. We're gonna do, this is just like this is like for you know for the people that need to learn fast. I gotta, we gotta look out for the people that that need to learn fast. Okay, I mean they're, they're not fast, but they did you know they they don't know. We can't speed off in front of them. So this is gonna be look right here, and this is gonna be LUT right here. Boom. So the first thing. So we did all that. We did our red conversion. We did our color face paint transport. All right, now I am back in the raw settings. Settings right here. I recorded at eight hundred. What I like to do, I like to, cause you get more. If you looked at my other video that I posted, I talked about um, the um, the light chart, the dynamic range chart, and that if you're on eight hundred, if you're outside, um, you get about ten stops, nine stops in the shadows. If you go down to 200 and 400 ISO. So what I'm going to do is we're going to switch back. Boom. I'm going to bring my um, ISO to 200. Look at that. Already. Crank that. Boom. It's already looking good. Already. Already looking good. Right? It's already looking good. But uh, hold on. I'm recording, Isaac. Um, so we're going to go into the LUT right here. And then I'm going to go into my LUTs. I'm going to scroll down. I got a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to here and I'm going to the Red Creative, IPP2 Creative LUTs. And I'm, I like to use the um, Film Bleach Bypass. And then boom. Look at that already. It's already looking good already. Shadows are not crushed. It's beautiful. Then the next thing. Um, oh, another thing we got to add. We got to add one more node. I'm sorry. Let's add one more node, guys. Keep up with me real quick. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Let's add one more node. And we're going to call this one Glow. This is how we're going to get this to look even more sharper. We're going to add a Glow. And then we're going to um, type in Glow in the effects. And I want to do this first. Let's go into Glow. Drag this down. Pay attention to this, guys. We're going to bring the Shine Threshold all the way down. The Spread all the way down. Hit advanced controls, go to um, composite type, and bring it to soft light, right? I'm going to look for soft light. Uh, you're going to soft light, right? And then you go, and then once, once you go right there, you go to your gain, and then you adjust your gain, okay? And this is going to actually make, um, it's going to actually sharpen it up really, really better. I, I use this better than um, sharpening tools. It's a little trick right there, okay? But we're going to fix the gain, get it, you know, not too crazy, okay? Um, also, I'm going to go back to the edit page. I'm going to lift up my um, clip so we can see the dog because we can't see the dog. Let's lift him up. Uh, let's get that right there. Boom. All right. So now we're going good. We're going good. Going good. Um, Yeah, we're going good. Guys, don't forget man, to like, subscribe, and comment so this channel could be um, recommended to you through the algorithm. All right? Uh, I could keep on coming up with stuff like this and teaching you guys stuff. You know what I mean? So please, man, like, subscribe, and comment. Please. It helps the channel a lot. Thank you very much. Boom. So we're going back. Boom. Boom. So now, now I want to go. I want to go. I want to get my look. So where I go to get my look, I go back into my LUTs. Um, you got to have your own look set up and your, and your thing. Okay. Um, I, I can do, I can use the, the quasi quasi made a, um, a nice film look. You could throw one here that, you know, really helps a lot. Um, me, I'm going to go into the gamut, um, gamut ones, and I'm going to go with chromatic cream and I'm going to throw that right on my look. Okay. Boom. There we go. Let's look at that. All right. It's not looking too bad. We just got to fix it up in the, um, primaries right so we're going to go into hdr wheels we're going to look at our waveform right here 
Uh, we got a little information here. I'm just going to lift um, the shadows on my primaries. Not on my HDR wheels. Just on my primaries. All right. Hold on, let's go back real quick. Uh, make sure you set your pivot to 0 0.335. Keep everything locked in that gray, 18% gray. And then we're going to bring the shadows up again. There we go. Now it's reacting right. Now it's reacting nice, okay? Just about right there. Uh, bring it down just a little bit. Right about there. Let's check that out. Looking better. Boom. Um, also, we're going to add another node after primaries, option S, and we're going to name this saturation. We're going to name this sat, all right? We're going to name that sat. We're going to right click. We're going to go to color space. We're going to go to HSV. We're going to right click again the same channel. Take off channel one. Take off channel two. Because this is what we're going to do on saturate, uh, our um, saturation. We can also do it in the primaries, but I like to se separate it and stuff. Let's add that uh, power window. Boom, it's looking a little better now. Let's click it up. Boom. Looking nice. Looking nice. Looking nice. All right. So now, all right. So where we at now? Um, We're looking good in exposure. Uh, I'm going to go to my HDR. We, I'm going to go to my actually stay in primaries. I'm just going to bring my highlights down. Just, I mean, I'm in the wrong thing. Sorry. Um, I'm in saturation. Sorry. Uh, I want to go into my back to my primaries. And I just want to bring my highlights down just a little bit. Um, go on my HDR, lift it up just a little bit, a little bit right there, right? And then uh, back into my primaries, mess with the contrast a little bit. Boom, let's pop that up. It's looking nice. Let's move the image a little bit and see how it's looking. Yeah, it's looking nice. Boom. Looking nice. I like my stuff a lot, like really, really uh, a little crunchy. But I could lift the shadows up just a little bit more. And now we're going to go into the uh, the primaries again. Inside the primaries, we're going to go into this color slice. And then we're just going to uh, go to the saturation just a little bit. Crank that up right there. Give it a little pop right there. Let's pop that up right there. It's looking good. Let's check the skin. You hit this button right here, just gets the skin a little bit too red. It's going to bring dial that back just a little bit, just a little bit. Bring that right there. We're looking good. Boom. And we already, we already like halfway there. Boom. All right. So we did that, did that, right? Now, this is the, this is the secret sauce right here. Now, what I do after I do all this, I'm going to add another node. Boom. Right, add another node, go into effects. I'm gonna add another color space transform, and this is gonna be I'm gonna title this ODT2. You are you like what he's making another color transform? Yes, and I'm gonna make this one Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 Rec 709. And then we go into Cineon Film Log. Now you see everything got flat again, right? No problem. And then I'm gonna click on Film LUT, and there we go. Okay. And then I could, you could, I could, I could adjust it more. Can I go back into the primaries here? And just bring the, the um, highlights down just a little bit more, like it's like a little bit there. And I go into my HDR, look for my light, see where my light is at. Okay. Bring the light. Bring it down just a little bit. There we go. And then boom, we got a dope image. And then when you like that image, boom. You like that image right there. Go into your gallery. You know, create a um right click. You could create your own power grade album. And just right click the, the the image, hit grab still, and then you have a saved power grade right there. And then if you want to take it to final cut, hold on, before I keep going, listen. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps a lot. Please, let's get back in it. Bow! All right, now, this is what I do. Hit the rocket. You're going to export, right? Go to rocket. I already set up my XML, but if you slide this over and go to Final Cut Pro, if you're using Final Cut Pro and DaVinci, go there, but I'm going to kick my mines. 
make sure you make a folder. You have to make a folder on your desktop that says XML, okay? You don't gotta worry about the name of it. Just make the folder. You get your browse, find the folder, XML, click it so it saves there. Boom, check your settings. Boom, 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 boom. Apple, boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's already good. That's there. Right there. Yeah, um, boom, boom, boom. Make now listen, if you wanna if you wanna show this, if you wanna go into your computer into Final Cut with some color on it, a little deeper color, or you want a little bit less saturated, if you want to color more, put video. You want a little saturated, less saturated to start for final cut, boom, put full. I put it on video. Right, slide the audio. All right, make sure it's linear PCM 32 bit float. Hit add to render, and then boom, you're gonna take that that file that you just did right there. It's gonna go into the folder in your XML folder, and then from the XML folder, you just drag your clips right to Final Cut. Bam, bam, boom, schmiggy, damn, brookie, and then bam, and there you go. Quick little color rate to get you there quick. You know what I mean? It's for the people that don't really know how to use the RED files. It's super easy, super fun. You could do the same thing. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment so you can get more content like this on a regular. One love. Keep creating and keep doing your thing, man. One.